Okay, here we are again, uh, another reaction video. Another new song by Go Ahead and Die. It's called Roadkill. Go Ahead and Die is the project uh, with uh, Max Cavalera and his son and a uh, chap called Zach Coleman on drums. Uh, I reacted to the first song actually from uh, this project. It, it was quite good. Uh, it, it was okay. I mean, I, it's not really my thing but i can listen to anything i mean it just has to capture me doesn't it it's just a matter of whether a song captures you as a as a metal and rock fan you know so anything can do that any any type of song can do that you, you just never know so let's check out this second single from go ahead and die called roadkill with a one two and a three
single from Go Ahead and Die Roadkill. Very grim subject matter. Um, homelessness and the plight of the homeless and how they're left to basically fend for themselves. They're not helped. Um, I mean, Max has always been a political writer. He's always mixed politics with music. I mean, not always... Yeah, it's not always something you want to you know engage with but when you listen to max he's always mixing politics so you you expect it and this this project with the title go ahead and die is already sort of like quite uh controversial maybe a bit it's like i don't know it's it's quite a you know abrupt tight abrupt band name for a for a project and the lyrics the subject matter for the two songs so far have been obviously political the music is quite interesting it's sort of uh i don't know a little bit of uh say sepultura old sepultura but not not too much it's sort of more punk crust a little bit of hardcore a little bit of death metal even a little bit of grindcore at the end there almost grindcore but it's all very murky like the production is not clean at all it's very raw max's vocals sound quite good uh you can understand all the words um yeah it's it's an interesting song it's a slow build grim and then you've got that sort of groovy riff which sort of breaks up the song and then at the end i was waiting for this blast beat blast section and it did finally come because I, I was thinking well this song is slow so it's gonna build it's building to something right it's got to build and it did build it finally built uh, they didn't surprise me there i knew that grind section or sort of hardcore fast section was coming and it came in the end and it was pretty cool actually that part um yeah it's an okay song it's interesting listen you know you got to listen to some different stuff every now and then um uh, you know you can't, you got to break break it up you know i listen to any type of music there's you know there's a couple of styles which i don't really listen to but in general i will listen to any type of music in the rock and metal field not not outside of that i don't bother with that other things but I can listen to anything, you know, if someone tells me to listen to Go Ahead and Die, I'm not say I'm not going to say oh, I only listen to AOR melodic rock or I only listen to power metal. I do only majorly love those t types, but I can love anything. I can love anything in thrash, death, you know, heavy metal. Black metal is the one that I don't delve into. I mean, I don't tend to really delve in there, but this one Go Ahead and Die, interesting, interesting. Okay, stay tuned. <laughs> 